Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Make sure to stick until the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 16. So right here, I actually want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 16. Now, I'm going to be taking the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 2 thirds to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 thirds to the power of 3 over 2, that's going to be the same thing as x to the power of 2 thirds times 3 over 2. This is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, 2 thirds and 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, meaning if we multiplied them, we would get 1, because if you multiply two reciprocals, you get 1. So let's test this out. 2 thirds times 3 over 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. So now I have x to the power of 1 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x, so I have x is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, to simplify this, 16 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have x is equal to 6, or sorry, 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 over 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 4 times 3 over 2. And now 4 times 3 over 2 is the same thing as 4 over 1 times 3 over 2. 4 times 2 is 12, and 1 times 2 is 2, so 12 over 2, which is equal to 6. So now I have x is equal to 2 to the power of 6. And 2 to the power of 6, well... 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So notice how it doubles every time. So 2 to the power of 6 would be double of 32, which is going to equal 64. So I have x is equal to 64. Now to check... My original equation was x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now that we know that x is equal to 64, I have 64 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now, 64 to the power of 2 over 3, this is the same thing as 64 to the power of 2. Actually, it's the same thing as the cube root of 64 to the power of 2. And now this is equal to 16. Now, the cube root of 64 to the power of 2, well, to do that, I first have to find the value of 64 to the power of 2. And 64 to the power of 2, that's going to equal 4096. So now I have the cube root of 4096. And now the cube root of 4096 this is actually equal to 16. So I have 16 is equal to 16, meaning our answer is right. All right. So I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 32. So now the first thing I'm going to do to solve this problem is I'm going to make both of these bases the same. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, First start with 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 32. Now, 32, if we want to make these two the same bases, 
I need to change 32 so that it has a base of 2. Well, 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. So notice how for every added power, the value is doubled. So we start with 2. The 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So the next one, that's going to be 16. And 16 times 2 is going to be 32. And as you notice, 2 to the po power of 5 is 32. So now if I replace 32 to 2 to the power of 5, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, or sorry, sorry. If I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, a would equal 3 to the power of x, and, sorry, in this case, m would equal 3 to the power of x, and n would equal 5, meaning 3 to the power of x is equal to 5. So now, to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 5. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. This, so this is going to equal b times log a. So in the case of log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 5, for log 3 to the power of x, I'm going to move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 3 is equal to log 5. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out. I'm left with x is equal to log 5 over log 3. Now, the value of log 5, this is equal to approximately 0 0.698. And I have this over log 3, which is equal to approximately 0 0.477. So now if I divide these two, my final answer is going to be 1.465. So this is my answer.